But uh, yeah, we're just jumping right back where we left off. Last time we caught that damn queen who was an idiot. She sailed right into our long ship and I just jumped on her boat, <laughs> killed her guard, and then tied her up. And <laughs> it was just real stupid. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna regroup with everyone back in Tamworth. You've exhausted my friend Abba here, but I'm wide awake. Maybe tell me where Burkett's hiding and let him rest happy. Never. We talked about it. Shut up! No. Stone faced and tight lipped, all for a king who hides like a cowardly bull. Too scared to protect his family and his people. Thirsty? We talked about it. We've taken exactly. Repton, Tamworth, now Templebroch, and Leicester. With each victory, your hope for peace recedes. Yet Borbred has what you do not. The loyalty of his people. Good men. Faithful men. Who? The Thanes and Chaos of Mercia? No, no. Only Leofrith remains loyal, and he too will fall. Yes, goodly Leofrith. He will die defending his king. And win or lose, he will send a hundred more of you to hell. Eivor, your ladyship. Do not mind. Oh my god. I'm only here to count my spoils. Out, Ivar. Now. All right, all right. But if you mean to stay, mind the smell after they finish this. My, my god. Get me out of here. Please. Talk now, and we'll draw you a nice warm bath. Look at that. Eivor, Those the silver tongue. Burgred is hiding in an old crypt to the south, where the Alni and Aero rivers join. A crypt? Now tell me this is not a sign from the gods. <laughs> it's a long way to carry a king. The three of you must clear a path back to Tamworth. Where can we meet? Bring him to the bridge at Venonus. It's a straight line through. We'll deal with any trouble there. Ivar still wants to kill this king. The heads were a nice touch. I'm not one for spectacle, but it got her talking. Spectacle? That's just me! That man's insane. Okay. So we're here, and we're gonna get this stupid king. Um... <laughs> poor guy, poor guy didn't even see it coming. Stomach's grumbling. Bo <laughs> Idiot. I must come for you. Come on, buddy. God damn this This poor guy. Oh no. Alright, Mr. King. Hi there. No, 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 it can't be! Stay back! That's a bread knife, my lord. Do you mean to butter me? <laughs> Stay back! Back, I say! I'll fight you! If you insist. Oh no. Ooh. It's a knockout. What a coward. Time to go, my lord. We're late for the crowning ceremony. Ah, give me oh, off this thing. shut up, you stupid king. Here. You act like this horse is a monster. Okay. Well, that was really easy. You, you, you think you've won? No, I, I know you I've won. Lyophris, I, I sent him away with orders to destroy you. I Quiet. really don't care. The mess you're in. You don't know the half of it. Oh, who cares? Leo Frith can't be that hard to kill. Hey, boy! This way! Alright. We'll lead we the way. We need to go. Fast. Right behind you. 
Burgred, you old beauty. I hardly yeah. recognized you there. <laughs> Ebar is always just so sassy. Ah, put me down! No! The only way you go down is with a rope around your neck. They'll be coming for him. Stay alert. Oh, God. Go. We'll cover you. Help! Ebar! Stick his face in the horse's ass. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is a full-on cultist. Okay. Damn, right there. We got this. Alright. Well, that wasn't too hard at all. It actually went too easy. Change has come, Burgred. All that remains is a coronation. A witten with the Lords of Mercia. Burgred, my love! My lady, are you injured? Did they hurt you? No, no, I'm fine. Move along, Lord. Your king awaits. Your death will come, Danes. Your end was writ the moment you came for me. I have made damn sure of that. Yeah, whatever, the dude. The zealots will know your name soon enough. No matter where you are, or how far you travel, they will hunt you down. Enough of that, you squeaking sparrow. Oh! <laughs> Let my brother be the lunatic of Tamworth. Gosh. Zalit. What does he mean? Ignore him. Desperate pleas and prophecies, nothing more. Walk with me, Wolfkist. We have some time before the ceremony. Okay, Ivar. Oh, by the way, he meant um, cultists, you know. Nowhere in particular. I only want to celebrate. Didn't think you were the type. You have drawn a dark conclusion about me, haven't you? I mean, you did run into a room with just like three heads and threw them on the ground and fed them to the pigs, so... I don't know what you expect of me, Ivar. You there! Get lost! Sit down. Okay, what's up, man? I know I have been a cock, but you are a good fighter. I respect that. Let it be said that Ivar the Boneless considers Eivor a friend. Who calls you Boneless? Some backrout I killed in Hibernia. Used his guts to shine my spear. Called me Boneless because I move like a reed in the wind. <laughs> Not because you're always too drunk to plow. <laughs> That is where I am bound. I can smell the blood and taste the mead. I will sit beside the High One with my axe in hand. A fitting end for Reknason. You would think, eh? Me, Hafton, we will be there. But Uba, no. I do not think we are chasing the same victory. Not anymore. Aww. What does Abba want? To grow old and fat on the farm somewhere with little ubers to chase about. He wants an heir. It's a common dream. Not for Drengir like us. He was different before. But this place, England, it softened him. What's okay, man? People change. And it may be that you change with them, or you go your separate ways. If it bothers you so much, why not strike out on your own? Because he is my brother. I love him. And I will do what it takes to drag him back around to my way of thinking. We are warriors, all. And that is to the death. So there's a man behind all that blood and guts that Ivar just carries around. A very dumb one, but still. <laughs> <laughs> That was fun. Don't you love just getting drunk for no reason? I did myself again. Did I miss the crowning? Probably. Gosh, quit talking, everyone. 
Where is my son? We sent word to Repton, but we've had no word, Lord. I suggest we carry on. Aww. You sought me out, old friend. And here I am, standing before the throne from which I reigned not long ago. You stand before us to accept this Witten's unanimous decision. That you are unfit to rule, and are hereby deposed. We demand the abdication of your kingdom and your crown to Thane Chairwolf. Mercia has spoken, Lord. The crown. Is that you, old friend? Ah, yes, I see it now. <laughs> Forgive me. The robes of righteousness sit so loosely upon your shoulders. <laughs> He's mocking you, man. I'd kill the fucker. <laughs> Worry not, Dane. I shall resign this crown. And this pagan infested kingdom, and the favors of these two faced men. But I will do so on my terms. My demands are simple. Firstly, you must. Uh, you fool. Look around you. You have no leverage here. Plead for your life. For it is the only thing these men will grant you. Forgive me, I, I... Do not harm me. I beg of you. Please. I'll go anywhere. Here. I, 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 I resign it. Here. Take this lord and his wife to Rome. He is hereby exiled. Never to return. The Witten recognizes King Chairwolf of Mercia, second of his name. A just king. A merciful king. God save the king. It better be worth all this trouble. It really better. Mercy and soldiers marching on Repton. Leofrid. Loyal to the ugly ant, the bastard. Gather what men you have and split them between the north and south gates. That should divide his forces. Cheobert is there. Eivor, you must save my son. You'll come through this, I promise. I will stay here with Cheobert. Go. Okay, fair enough. We gotta look for Leofrith and kill this man. Oh, hey, Ubba. What's going on? Have you seen Cheobert? fleeing across the river. Chasing it has to be Jailbert. He's the only prize worth taking in this mud sink. Bro, stop chasing. Just don't do it. Die now. That. Come on, man. Come on. What, what were you gonna do there? I won't back down, Leofrid. I will not. Please. You do not want to do this. Leofrid, let him walk. You answer to me. I answer to my king. Our silence deeds with this. Lay it by, Leofrith. There's nothing left to fight for. We've stormed Repton. Only a matter of time. Poor Leofrith. I cannot do that. Then you will die. Someone will. He's such an honorable man. He's not someone I want to kill. You can win this, Leofrith. Even if you defeat me, the Ragnarsons have won the day. I have fought many a day in my time. I'm still standing. Yeah, but you haven't fought me, buddy. You're slowing. Oh, God. You're a strong willed thing. Burgrid is lucky. To stand in the way of you and Mercia is my duty. I will die before I yield. Come on, buddy. Let's keep your promise. You are 
finished. Not yet. I am fighting you, buddy. Okay. You cannot win. I'm sorry, but I'm going to win. Oh god. I'm sorry, man. Go on then. End it. No appeal to your god or your king. I swore an altar so Borgrin to the death. I thought I lost. We both know how this goes. Hmm. An honorable thane fighting a dishonorable war. Why rob him of this last glory? A warrior ready to meet his god and bask in his praise. To live will only lead him to shame. It's not an oath he would keep if he knew the truth. Then choose. Truth or glory. Damn. Stand, Leofrith. Live to fight another day. What? Your loyalty to Burgrid is not a loyalty returned. He resigned the crown and fled to Rome. He's gone. You lie. Lie to a man seconds from death. What would I gain? He saved himself and left you to die. All this fighting, it's for nothing. For no one. To betray one so trusted, so close. It's a dishonor worth a thousand deaths. Eivor. You have shown me a great kindness. It is only fitting that I do the same. At Venonis, there is a statue with a scroll laid in a small bowl. You must burn it. A scroll? Your name is on this scroll. At Burgred's request, I put it there. When it is found, the zealots who read it will hunt you. Who are they? It doesn't matter now. You haven't much time. Burn the scroll, or they will never stop hunting you. Damn. Where will you go now? Rome. Come on. Let's take you back. I am so happy I did not have to kill him. Careful. You're injured. I'm all right, really. A few nicks and cuts from the battle, that's all. I threw myself at him, Abel. But he only toyed with me. He knew I couldn't touch him. You should have stayed hidden, Chailbeard. This wasn't your fight. It was. It was our fight. Yours, mine, my father's. I had to help. And you did. You showed courage today. Bravery. You're a boy no longer. That was such a nice fight. I really enjoyed that. This this game is really good. With I didn't think you'd spare him. There is no honor in killing a man misled. He believed his king would die fighting for mercy. He knows the truth now. And with that truth, he forged a new path. You were right about him, Chelbert. And right to believe the line that divides us can be thinner than it seems. Chelbert! <laughs> Look at you! Bloody and battle-worn. Could be chieftain of your own clan with courage like that. No less than the king of Mercia, brother. One of these days. And how is my father taking to his new role? See for yourself. Dang. You're an Otlinger now. Or Etling, I think you'd say. Next in line for the throne. It's an honorable title. One that demands good judgment. Be careful who you trust. My son. Are you well? Yes, father. Well enough. He honored you today. Fought bravely against many stalwart foes. You have my thanks. All of you. And my blessing. No problem, home dog. Uh, what do we do now? What happens <laughs> now? Word of Burgred's deposition will spread quickly. The other kingdoms of England will soon enough know that Mercia has a new king. The remaining kingdoms of England won't respect your path to power. Nor will many in my kingdom. Burgred's soldiers will stand tall in the face of this turmoil, all across Mercia. 
against us. You know, I am riding for Oxenfordshire directly to forge an alliance with some things there. Shall I go with you? Not till I know more. Linger here a while if you can. Strengthen our friendships. I will send for you soon enough. Sigurd, Sounds good. I would feel better if Cheobot was away from here until Mercia is more stable. Would you welcome him among your clan? Yes, man. Do you have a horse, young Adeling? I do. A young steed called Theobald. Good. I can ride with you as far as the river Nene. You may find your way from there. Thank you, Sigurd. This puts my mind at ease. Be ready for my call, Eivor. It will come. No problem, dude. I'm you waiting for Sigurd it. You and Sigurd make a good pair. Thanks, Eva. The future of England will be pagan from top to bottom. <laughs> Take this, Wolfkist. It's a sign of friendship. I should you call. The brothers Ragnarsson will come. You honor me, Abba. Ivar is not happy. See that? Sly bastard trying to win your heart. Well, two can play at that game. How kind of you, Ivar. My pleasure. Our friendship is the best thing to come from this mess. Maybe Chelbert too. A brave little twig. That's good <laughs> to hear. The brothers are crazy. I enjoy them. Ivar grew on, but... In the end. In the end. We grew no. closer. Leovrid said there are hunters after me. Zealots. If I don't clear my name, I'll be marked for death. <laughs> I should head to Venonis. All right. That's all we got for today, guys. Uh, it's going good. I'm really enjoying this. That was very nice. I'm so happy I did not have to kill Leofrith. I've said it like 16 times, but I'm happy. It seems the wind calls me back to Randy. Best tell her the good news. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. Leave a like if you did. See ya. Thank you.